Russia. Is this Russia? This isn't Russia, is it? Let's say that you actually have your keys not in the ignition, and yet all of your doors are closed. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's still beeping. Actually, it's a, uh, it's a headlight warning, not a door jar. But the first thing you want to do is check this switch here. It's on the side of the door. That's your door switch. As you can see, when it's depressed, it's not turning off the light. Now that could either mean that this door switch is stuck closed. Like if you actually press it, it's a plunger, but there's a possibility that it would get stuck closed. There's also a possibility that it, the switch inside of here is broken. So we need to run a continuity test on that. And I recommend starting with the driver's side door first because that's the door that gets the most use. And there is one switch per door, Mazda 626. That's four switches for four doors. And on the MX-6, it's two switches for two doors. And same thing with the probe, two door probes. All right, now this is a fairly easy process. It's just one screw that holds it down. Remove the screw and the switch, the whole switch will come out and it should be connected to a harness. Now you do not want to lose that harness. See sometimes it might take a little bit of manipulation. Now whenever you see a one wire sensor, this one happens to be red with a white stripe. Whenever you see a one wire sensor it usually means that ground is created by the switch itself. So the, just the fact of the switch sitting on the body provides this switch with the ground so it grounds itself to the body power is routed through this switch so when the plunger is depressed this touches the ground or the body and that's what completes the circuit for our purposes all we want to do is run a continuity test so we have to disconnect this and make sure when you disconnect this not to lose this inside the car okay the switch comes out like that please don't go back inside Please don't go back inside. Okay. So there's your switch mechanism. Okay. And set it for continuity, which is the Wi Fi looking symbol. Test it. It should beep. All right. All right. I am pressing the plunger right now, and there is no continuity. So when it, the door is open, that's when continuity is provided because that's when your door is open. So that's how you check a good door switch. And this is a good door switch. And all of this is just a hypothetical. My car is not actually having an issue. I'm just doing this for you. All we have to do is reconnect the switch. Make sure that's in there nice and snug. Plug that back in there. And screw it back down. Let's say you get your new switch. And you have everything connected correctly. When you press this, there should be no more beep. Ta-da! Pretty neat, huh? At the same time, the door courtesy light will go out. You can have a little party in your car, but you will get rid of that beeping noise. Ah, lesson 22, blessed silence. And that is how you repair a broken door switch on a Mazda 626. Cool.